Hey, good evening, Stacy. Amanda Beggie has been studying abroad in Rome since May, but she says the most incredible moment of her travels happened last night as she witnessed history in St. Peter's Square. Growing up Catholic, Amanda Beggie remembers watching the chimney of the Sistine Chapel full of excitement. I watched this in junior high and I remember staring at the chimney and thinking, you know, how cool that was to be seen like that. But she never imagined she'd actually be there until just a few weeks ago. A biology student at St. Norbert, Veggie's home for the semester, is just a 20-minute walk from Vatican City. We really feel connected, um, my roommates and I, to this experience, and it's been cool to watch it. Um, really up close. Beggie says she was in Vatican City when Pope Benedict XVI resigned and even attended Tuesday's pre-conclave mass. But being among the crowd on Wednesday night is what she says she'll remember most. You realize that you're actually in St. Peter's Square watching the chimney. You're watching what the rest of the world is seeing and you're actually there. And it doesn't feel real. And when the white smoke finally appeared, Beggie says she and her friends could hardly contain their excitement. As soon as the white smoke came, the bells started ringing. All the bells started ringing in Rome and just a mad rush of people into St. Peter's Square, which is just the craziest feeling. She uses the word surreal to describe the moment Pope Francis first appeared before the crowd. We just all looked at each other in shock and awe, like, are we really seeing this? Just a bunch of mixed emotions. Now Amanda will be staying in Rome through May. She says she can't wait to get back and share more about her experiences with her friends and family.